The Young and the Restless Spoilers Monday Update Full June 24, 2024 Love, Power, and Deception in Genoa City In the ever-evolving landscape of Genoa City, relationships are tested, loyalties are questioned, and power plays unfold with dramatic intensity. Faith's hope for her parents' reconciliation, the power struggle within the Abbott family, and Victor's cunning schemes all weave a complex web of emotions and intrigue. Faith's hope for her parents Faith Newman is overjoyed to see the positive signs between her parents, Nick and Sharon. Their rekindled connection brings her immense happiness, as she has always hoped to see her family united once more. However, there is a lingering doubt in her mind, could this be a facade to make her happy during her brief stay? Faith's intuition tells her that the happiness she sees might be genuine, but she also knows how much her parents care about her feelings. She fears they might be pretending for her sake. Determined to ensure their reunion is sincere, Faith decides to have an honest conversation with her parents. Mom, Dad, I love seeing you both happy, Faith says one evening. But please, don't pretend for my sake. I want you to be together because you truly love each other, not just to make me happy. Nick and Sharon exchange a meaningful glance, realizing the depth of Faith's concern. Sharon speaks first, her voice gentle yet firm. Faith, your father and I have had our ups and downs, but what you see is real. We're trying to rebuild our relationship, not just for you, but because we believe in us. Nick nods in agreement. We've both been through a lot, Faith. But being together feels right. We're committed to making this work, for us and for you. Faith's heart swells with relief and joy, knowing that her parents' reconciliation is based on genuine love and commitment. This moment of honesty strengthens their bond, paving the way for a hopeful future. The Abbott family power struggle. Meanwhile, the Abbott family faces its own turmoil. Diane Jenkins issues a stern warning to Jack Abbott, asserting her dominance over the CEO position at Jebo. Jack, I don't care what Kyle does or where he goes. He's no longer my concern. But you, stay out of my way. The CEO position is mine. Diane's decision to disown Kyle due to the power struggle leaves Jack in a difficult position. He cares deeply for both his son and Diane, but the internal conflict is tearing the family apart. Jack wants to reclaim the CEO role, believing he is the right person to lead Jebo. However, he fears the consequences of his actions, alienating both Diane and Kyle. Jack, feeling the weight of his responsibilities, confides in his sister, Ashley. I don't know what to do, Ash. Diane is threatening to disown Kyle, and I'm stuck in the middle. I want what's best for the company, but not at the expense of losing my family. Ashley, ever the voice of reason, offers her perspective. Jack, you need to do what's best for Jabot. But that doesn't mean you have to lose your family. Talk to Diane and Kyle. Find a way to mediate this without letting the power struggle destroy our family. Kyle and Audra's deal with Victor. While the Abbott family wrestles with internal strife, Kyle and Audra have signed their contract with Victor Newman, eager to prove themselves in their new roles. Unbeknownst to them, they have walked into a carefully laid trap. Victor's triumphant and cunning demeanor reveals his true intentions. Victor's plan is clear, use Kyle and Audra's ambition and naivety to further his own agenda, ultimately at their expense. As Kyle and Audra celebrate their new positions, Victor's satisfaction grows. Welcome aboard, he says with a sly smile. Let's see what you're capable of. Kyle, despite his initial excitement, begins to sense something amiss. He realizes that Victor's motivations might not be as straightforward as they seemed. Audra, too, feels the pressure of the situation, understanding that their positions come with hidden dangers. The tension rises as Kyle confronts Victor. I want to ensure we have a clear understanding. I will handle major decisions directly with you. I don't want any unnecessary interference. Victor's response is swift and final. Kyle, you accepted the terms. Audra is co-CEO, and that's non-negotiable. If you can't accept it, the deal is off, and you're out. Kyle, trapped by his own ambition and Victor's manipulation, must now navigate the treacherous waters he's entered. He realizes that his and Audra's positions are not as secure as they seemed and that Victor's control over their futures is absolute. Conclusion In Genoa City, the intertwining lives of Faith, Nick, Sharon, the Abbots, 
and the Newmans create a rich tapestry of love, power, and deception. Faith's hope for her parents' genuine reconciliation brings a ray of hope, while the Abbott family's power struggle threatens to tear them apart.